Hello, everybody. I thought I'd better do a report on this one. Um, it was put out July the 25th on, let's see, uh, it's, it's an online publication called Allow to Subscribe, no, International Business Times is the name of the publication. Uh, from the Asia Pacific, well, it says, and then you can click on that, or U.S. technology, business, etc., etc. This article says, mysterious disease spreading. I wonder how they know that already. Let me keep reading. I saw this from Dabu7, or how, whatever numbers he has, on drafted in when I was online live with them Kathy shows a lot of things from YouTube um, on there while we're on there and then we can pause them and discuss them or whatever and it was one from Dabu now he said nothing about it being disease spreading but he did show the external the the packages, what they looked like. And there's parts of it that are had been blocked out with a light bluish teal colored marker. Okay, so I'll try to find Dabu's video and link it under this link. But this one says, Mysterious disease spreading seed packets from China mailed Two people in U.S. and U.K. Here's why. Residents in the U.S. and U.K. have reported receiving strange packages containing seeds with Chinese writings. Okay, and it's by Mir Manthan Chado. Chada. Like I said, July 25th, 2020. All right. Uh, oh, that's such an old picture. That's not part of this. Okay, this has the picture that he showed. I'll do a screenshot of it. That's what I wanted to show you. I'll just get a screenshot of this. Part of seed packets. So it'll all go on there. Um, if you make it too big, they say it's too big. All right. Now, listen to this. There have been reports of strange packages containing seeds being sent to people in multiple states across the United States from China. Residents in Washington, Utah, Louisiana, and Virginia have received unsolicited deliveries of seeds in the mail that are believed to have originated from China, according to officials. Today, we received reports of people receiving seeds in the mail from China that they did not order. If you receive them, do not plant them, the Washington State Department of Agriculture said Friday. Unsolicited seeds could be invasive, introduce disease to local plants, or be harmful to livestock. Not to mention, if you touch them, it could be harmful to you. The package labeled as containing jewelry. So wouldn't you be interested to know what kind of jewelry? Uh, Dabu said diamond studded earrings, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The agency also pointed out that the seeds are sent. Now that sounds mighty suspicious to me. Why do you send a package from China or any other country with whose writing looks like Chinese that says 
diamond studded earrings in a package that looks like something seeds would come in because well you don't even want your seeds crushed you'd put them in a box wouldn't you anyway moving on the agency also pointed out that the seeds are sent in sealed packages yeah they're like flimsy vinyl those flimsy vinyl envelopes that would easily be crushed anything in there would be crushed if it's not made of metal or something like i've received a t-shirt believe it or not folded and folded again and <laughs> stuffed in one of those yeah sealed in packages with labels marking the contents as jewelry a tactic often used by smugglers to bypass customs I would think customs would want to know what kind of jewelry and how, how much is it worth because customs charges according to the value anyway I thought uh, that was my understanding correct me if I'm wrong and warned people not to open the packages the agency warned people not to open the packages and report the same to the US Department of Agriculture for agricultural smuggling Lori Coley who lives in Tule Tuella Tuella Utah told Fox 13 that she found two small packages in her mailbox Tuesday that had Chinese writings on them I opened them up and they were seeds Coley told the news station obviously they're not jewelry similar seed packages reported by UK residents this comes a week after several British citizens reported receiving similar seed packages with Chinese writings labeled its contents as jewelry like rings and stud earrings the mysterious packages were posted to customers who previously made oh the mysterious packages were posted to customers who previously made legitimate seed purchases through sites such as Amazon Marketplace and eBay that's how they got their names and addresses Mrs. Westerdale of Drawnfield Derbyshire wrote about her experiences on a British gardening Facebook forum and received messages from hundreds of people saying they had the same thing happen so this is not just a few okay this woman's packages have dark looking seeds this one's dark and small looking seeds she has a some kind of device laying there to give you an idea of the size but I don't know what the device is <laughs> maybe it's common in the UK but anyway this person received something that looked like um, what was it somebody said orange seeds they look like orange seeds she said and they do they look like orange seeds hmm very interesting sealed similar seed packages reported by UK all right this comes a week after several British citizens reported receiving several similar seed packages with Chinese oh I'm sorry I read that already the Royal Horticultural Society said importing plants and seeds poses potential risks of introducing new pests and diseases and the Department for Environmental Food and Rural Affairs is now investigating the mysterious packages and its origins 
e-commerce fraud in China. According to 2017 article by Forbes, this is an e-commerce fraud commonly committed by China-based retailers to bolster sales and rack up favorable reviews for a website. Citing the example of a Pennsylvania woman receiving similar packages of hair ties from China she never ordered, the publication pointed out that Chinese agents ship ridiculous amounts of unordered items to people overseas <clears throat> to fraudulently boost sales and obtain positive feedback for their clients' products on e-commerce sites in a method that is dubbed as brushing. Basically, a brushing firm somehow gets a hold of the person's name from legitimate orders placed on other websites and then creates a user profile for the individual on the e-commerce site that they wish to have their higher sales ratings and positive reviews on. Then they shop for an order via the fake profile and ship the items for virtually nothing due to subsidies and unbalanced pricing policies once the delivery whoa my computer's jumping around why are you doing that stop it anyway it's it's a tactic to oh here it is once the delivery is completed they then leave positive reviews on the e-commerce website as verified okay but now what if they took this idea of that that what they've been doing uh ate some oranges, kept the seeds, dried them out, put them in bags, whatever these black seeds are, they did the same. And when they, if they were, if they would have torn this open, they're not opened. They're completely sealed shut. Thank God these people did not open them and I hope nobody else did either. So if you've ever ordered seeds from an Amazon company and you get some of these in your mailbox, don't open them. Call the um, research, the agricultural society or whatever they said. Let's see if I can tell you one more time. The agency. Uh... This is the Washington State Department of Agriculture. So call your, just do a Google search, Department of Agriculture, Agriculture in my state. And you should be able to pull it up in a number. And get a hold of them. This picture that I said is so old. It says Boko Haram shoots five aid workers point blank after NGOs fail to pay ransom. And there's a perfectly sky blue background. There's some bushes low down bushes not sand or sea like I've seen before anyway that's a video to watch for 39 seconds I'll link this in the description box brothers and sisters and 
if you want to read it again or whatever. And what else did I say I was going to link? Oh, Daboos. Well, I don't need to. Now you know, and the pictures are going to be my um, custom thumbnail. Okay, bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.